uh, the next thing that we are going to use is uh, create profile view for this alignment vertical profile view uh, for this we will go to profile from home tab go to profile create surface profile or go to profiles create profile from surface we already have a surface we already have an alignment so we will create profile from surface click here and it is asking which road you are going to create profile if you have multiple profiles all of the profiles will be listed here uh, in our case we will select road one and which surface you will go we will be making profile we say it is original ground start station is this end station is this and uh, click add your data will be added here draw in profile view okay this new window opens and you have to go through all these uh, steps the first thing it is asking is select alignment we have alignment road one and uh, similarly like alignment style and uh, surface styles we have profile view styles as well in our case we have profile view hit next it asks for which is the start station and which is the end station as we know that start station is zero and end station is 177 click on next here you can assign the minimum elevation and maximum elevation where the uh, profile starts and ends uh, in our case we will say we will specify by ourselves uh, the profile starts at 37 meter and ends at 53 meters and we will not split this profile click next uh, again we will click next and here it shows the bands the bands are uh, this is the profile view and this is the band that we are going to assign here if you want to change here just change it for now we will just leave it as it is hit next create profile view now it is asking for select profile view region where you want to place your profile simply click here and this is how it looks like <coughs> you can see that at this point at start the profile is a bit uh, steep it is uh, steep and after that it goes up and here it goes down you can see here object viewer we can see that our profile starts from here and ends here and similarly there is one high point here and after that there is gra gradually high points here and then it goes down here this is what is already displayed in our profile view in our profile view we will go and create our this is the existing ground profile now we are going to use to create our proposed ground uh, proposed road profile which we will go to profiles and create profile by layout click this and now it is asking for select profile view to create profile in this case we will click this profile view and name of the profile we will say it is rd1 finished road level which is finished road level frl rd1 frl it is the style of this uh, profile will be design profile and all of the labels will be shown on this profile hit ok similarly like uh, we have created horizontal alignment of road we also get the vertical alignment of the road to space and you can see here profile layout tools with rd1 frl the one the name that we have already assigned from here i will go to draw tangents with curves click this it asks for a specified start point 
I will start from here and my profile goes gradually from there to here it goes up up here then it goes down this way and it ends at this point you can adjust the length of curves it has you can see it has automatically assigned the curves and uh, and the uh, vertical curve data you can change it as you want you can simply simplify your profile as just like you want it is very simple and easy steps this is how our proposed profile view looks like if you want to modify anything simply click here and the panorama window opens you can see here what the start station what is the elevation at start station which is mentioned here 39.717 and it is here if you want to change it if you want to change it like 39.818 it will update automatically over here and if you want to graphically click here and put it here you can see it is updating at this point at here as well similarly if you want to change your vertical profile vertical curve data and if you want to change it and modify it simply click and you will see the changes over here you can see all of the things are changed here I will adjust the curves according to some design standard to make it look good now this is how our road will look like obviously you can uh, make your road as per your design requirements I will close it and uh, this is our horizontal profile this is our vertical profile the next thing we are going to check is the bands of our profiles how the bands are displayed under the road uh, under the road profile I will increase the annotation size click right click and edit profile view style graph you can see now the vertical exaggeration is 10 I will say it should be 5 or 2 whatever you like grid should be clipped to the highest profile omit grid padding areas and similarly you can see clip horizontal grid clip or uh, clip highest point profile and omit grid padding apply okay you can see now the vertical and horizontal grid lines are omitted after the uh desire after the uh, desired area this is how our profile looks like now let's go and change the data that is displayed over here like now it is every 20 meter there is uh, uh, the levels are displayed over here now at 120 we can say at 100 at 100 meters the elevations should be shown here should be our finished road uh, profile elevation and here should be our existing profile elevations so now go ahead and select your profile view select profile view properties go to bands in our bands view you can see from here this is the uh, this is the 
band style that is assigned over here and in here profile, uh, profile 1 and profile view profile 2 both are shown original ground surface ground profile so in here we will change to rd1 profile and apply you can see how the elevations are changing click ok and uh, if we see at 100 change you can see that this is our finished ground sir, um, ground profile elevation and this is our existing ground elevations this is how you can change it there are many other things that you can modify almost every aspect in this profile you can modify and it's very easy we'll go in details in our next videos